God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And those, those, and that's that man. That's a powerful place to be if we can get there. When we get there, right? Not when we get there. And you know, and when you get there, just make sure you remember that the world's still going to try to find fault in it. Oh, praise but, God! Yeah. Yeah, you know that's why I wanted uh, Elder read this for me. Your mind. That just got to keep it focused on the the aspect here is that even when you do, even when signs follow you. They're going to hate you, man. They're going to yeah. crucify you. They're crucify you. <laughs> look, at this, look at this right here. <laughs> Jesus in Bill's book. And he was casting out a devil. And it was dumb. And it came to pass when the devil was going out. The dumb spake. And the people wondered. But some of them said he cast out devils through Bill's book, the chief of the devil. Uh -huh. And others tempting him sought of him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And a house divided against the house faileth or falleth. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out devils through Beelzebub. And if I, by Beelzebub, cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? <laughs> Therefore shall they be your judges. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's, let me see if I got any more to it. I think, no, there it is, go ahead. But if I, with the finger of God, cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God has come upon you. Yes. When a strong man armed keepeth his house, his palace, his goods are in place, in uh -huh. peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh him, he taketh from him all his armor, where he trusted and divided his poor. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. That on a piece of that is fact is I wanted to show was the fact is that we as the body of Christ need to understand that we 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 have to be one in unison. You know, right now the world is sometimes is saying we bring it back to this world situation. They see us divided. Mm -hmm. When we should be, our, our whole purpose, regardless of what's going on, is to be in unity of faith. That word that we said, his words, right? He said, "I've given him thy word." My word. Yeah, and 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 they become one because of his word. And even everything he's saying is that he only confirmed his word, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Right. Pastor Taylor, there is a a thought that enters my head that says. Aside from our focus on Christ, we'll always be divided. Yeah. And because my perspective is not going to be the same as anybody else's. So I got to have a connect with Christ that's common to every other man. I got to connect with Christ. And in him, we find uh, unity. Yeah. We seven men sitting here at these respective tables in these different places have come together to discuss the will of one man. And his name is Jesus. And we all sit here collectively, <laughs> communing one with another in peace, because right. we're all seeking his will. Right. Not my will, not Jason's will, not Billy's will, Jimmy's will, Chris. None of us are seeking our will. We're seeking his will. And that's what's bringing us together. Exactly. So I think across the racial, when we encourage our white brothers and our Hispanic brothers and our Asian brothers and our black brothers and our yellow brothers and our red brothers, when we encourage each other to find, to seek his will, when we start looking at one guy that's calling cadence, then we're going to all march in the same steps. Amen. Yeah. yeah. We, I pray to God and we don't, don't come in unity without Christ. Man. If we come together in unity without, if me and Jimmy come together <clears throat> and agree on something, we're going to be able to pull it off. That's a biblical principle. Mm -hmm. We can be wrong as hell, but we're still going to be able to pull it off. Yeah. And, 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 so if and we the scriptures teach people, that. Amen. Yeah. So, so if we unite in Christ and only in Christ, that's when the righteousness of God gonna be manifested through our lives. Exactly, and that's how the world looks at us is by His Word. He confirmed Amen. His Word. Amen. And for, for Brother Jackson, I think you gotta go today, Brother Jackson. 
No, no. Um, just a little side note. My uh, associate pastor passed away last Monday. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, yeah. And um, so they, you, you know, and, and because other members had caught COVID to include his family and other folks, matter, matter of fact, my pastor and, and his wife caught it, but but they're doing fine. Um, you know, so they just kind of chilling, sanitizing the place and and uh, they're doing an online uh, Facebook live thing. As a matter of fact, it's probably happening now, but I'll, I'll catch it later. Okay. Wow. Well, wow. Was it, was it COVID that they died from? It was, uh, COVID related. Uh, he went into the hospital due to COVID, but you know how it, if you got any underlying conditions and he uh, eventually is, is, uh, passed away of a heart attack. God bless his soul. Yeah. Yeah. But he was, uh, you know, the thing is, uh, just so you know, um, and, and, and that's where he's at, brother, you know, absent from the body is present in the Lord. He was uh, texting, you know, uh, kind of giving the pastor uh, updates and and um, and he said, hey, the Lord visited him, you know, and uh, so he was at peace, man. He was all good. He was all good. And he went fast. So. And, I, and that's what I'm saying. I think even when we approach a, this, this current situation, even politics or this pandemic, you know, we, we definitely got to learn to be one in unison of dealing with things, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in, in Christ. And, and with that in mind, since you're here, I wanted to, I, we did, to, everything we just talked about was what Brother Addison and, and Elder Johnson and I covered the last Sunday and, and Thursday to bring me to this point. Okay. Is uh, watching out for division in the church, right? Because he said the house divided cannot stand. Mm -hmm. And I also said that the world is watching us now. Uh, mm -hmm. And so right here, uh, Brother Jackson, I, I like to break you into this one. You anointed here to read this. This is just because I, I prefer you read it. <laughs> okay. But, but read that for us though. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll change the slide as you get to it. It's like three slides. Okay. At 1 Corinthians, starting in chapter 1, verse 4. I thank my God always on your behalf. For the grace of God, which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by him, in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, yes. so that ye come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. whom shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. God is faithful. Yes. By whom ye were called into the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. What? Speak the same thing. Hey, hey Chris, did he say all Chris? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and, that there be, and that there be no divisions among you. Yeah but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind what? and in the same judgment. Can't be. Mm. <laughs> Who it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, uh -huh. by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Wow. So sometimes we do have them divisions, them contentions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it says here in verse 12. Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul mm. and of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Whoa. Mm -mm. Was Paul crucified for you? Never. Or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? Couldn't have been, no. Mm -mm. It says here, I thank God that I baptized none of you, but Crispus and Gaius, uh -huh. lest any should say that I had baptized in mine own name. Come on now. And I baptized also the household of Stephanus. Besides, I know not whether I baptized any other. Yes, sir. Verse 17. That was Jesus. I know it. Amen. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Woo! Preach it! Come Amen. On. Not with wisdom of words, uh -huh. lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. Oh, you can't, uh -uh. You can't, you can't tell me to ask that thing, huh? Uh -huh. That was the topic right there. I mean, that was a subtopic. Christ of wisdom and power of God. But verse Amen. 18 is next So one. verse 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Wow. But unto us 
which are saved, it is the power of God. Yes, sir. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise uh -huh. and will bring nothing to the understanding of the prudent. Yes, sir. Where is the wise? Where, Where is the scribe? Come on. Where is the disputer of this world? Uh -huh. Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Show right. enough. Show enough. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Wow. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Amen. Uh -huh. For the Jews require a sign, yes, and the sir. Greeks seek after wisdom. Go back one. Did I miss one? Okay. Yes. But we preach Christ crucified <laughs> to the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greek foolishness. Uh -huh. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Come on. And the weakness, wicked, weakness of God is stronger than men. Yes. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Uh -huh. God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Yes. And base things of the world and things which are despised have God chosen. Yea, and things which are not to bring to not things that are. Yes, sir. That no flesh should glory in his presence. Amen. Oh, come on. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus who of God is made unto us wisdom Come on. and righteousness yes. and sanctification yes. and redemption. Uh -huh. That according as it is written, uh -huh. he that glorifieth, let him glory in the Lord. In the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, and that's why I wanted to bring that out, the fact, is about because it's really talking about the division the world sees right now, Brother Adam, is that we have this division. And when we should all both be on one accord speaking the same thing, have the same mind. Mm -hmm. it, it's almost, that's why I think it's almost important to make sure we don't stray too far off when when we got the world, we have to deal with the world and we have to participate in things of this world. But don't 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 blend the two between what God's wisdom, God's words is about. We all got to be one accord in, in his way. Mm -hmm. And he's given us his word. Mm -hmm. Same mind. Same thing. Amen. He has given it. And that's what he wants us to focus on. And that's why I showed the one before that is <laughs> when Jesus said, a house divided cannot stand. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I brought up earlier that inside the local church, we're on one accord yes, inside sir. those walls. But it's once we come out of those walls <laughs> right. is where the conflict and the division comes. Yeah. So, which is why I was saying we have to be the same at all times. You know, and, and, and we have to remember because we tend to be in this world and of this world outside yeah. of the church. Right. Yeah. You know, outside well, the think, walls. But inside the walls, you know, we're we're all on one accord. And you feel you know, you feel real good too when you go in a church setting and everybody is all in that one accord. You ever, you ever get that sense of that unity? The unity oh, yeah. of faith. I mean it's 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 evident with us right here. Yeah. There's unity in this group. Yeah. And we're on one accord. We we are striving to achieve wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, and so, and it happens because we're, we're on one accord. Now, when we go our separate ways, is that the same? You know, goal with us. I think we begin to speak <laughs> the language or the area that we're interacting with, huh? which is error. I think we begin to speak the language of the area of the, of the, of the, of the region, that we, the environment that we're interacting with, and that's that. That's not that's not God, because we're supposed to maintain the same disposition, the same posture, regardless of our environment. Uh, 
when we speak with our families, we have another mindset other than what we had when we were speaking to the brethren, which is not legitimate. And, and I think that that becomes an error on our part because as we sit here, the ministers of God, the sons of God, we have to portray that same image when we go before our families, before our friends, before our communities, before the world itself. But it's, it's inherent to us to morph into whatever it is that we're a part of, at whatever group we're working with at that time. When we go on our jobs, we become vibrant. We become, you know, we survive. We grow teeth so that we can deal with whatever the element is. But not so. We should not be that way. And and again, that's a learned behavior. It, it's it's natural to start cussing when you're around folks that cussing all the time. That's natural, but it's not God. Right. And that's, that's why we we gather amongst each other. But th this is the perfecting. Yeah, I'm saying right here. Yeah. So that when we depart, that it is manifesting in our life daily, hourly, by the minute. Right. So the, the, the change is happening in our minds. Yeah. And we're renewing exactly. so that well, our actions reflect that. Go ahead, Jim. I, I, uh, I think that uh, I think that we have to do things decently. And in order. And in order. Yeah. I think that we have to understand the forum, the forum or the agenda by which things have been created or come together for. Yeah. I think that the division, and I, in my opinion right now, the church helps now to, to help um, enhance or push division just as much as the world is right now. Because and let's just go straight to it. Because right now you say 50%, 47%, that's about down the middle divided, Yeah. period. So we're at a great place of division, period. But I think when we take the church forum and we begin to try to persuade, push, belittle, bully people that don't have the political position that we have turns off people from the agenda that we got together and yeah. people that may have uh, participated in our forums and we may have been able to reach for Christ have turned off because of the division of that. I think that that's a separate and distinct discussion and and something that, because you, you and I both know, there's preachers out there that are saying right now, if you voted for Biden, don't come back to this church. Mm -hmm. There's preachers out there saying right now, if you voted for Trump, don't come back to this church. And so we're creating the division. When in my opinion yeah. is yeah. that That's the it. church is not the platform for that. We're here, just as those scriptures just read, yeah. not about some man. I mean, Trump didn't die for me, neither did Biden. And if they did, they still couldn't have erased my sins. Right. We come here because of the Lord Jesus Christ right. and him alone. Right. And right. Him alone. Right. 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 and so in this particular forum, in forums like this, I think we need to understand what we came together for. Yeah. And we need to stick to that because that's the one true God. And that's the only thing we came together for. And mm -hmm. everybody else have their own opinions about other things. And there are other forums set up to discuss those type of things. And even if that discussion comes up, I think we have to be respectful of the opposing sides and also be fair in that we state information on both sides. I say it like this right here, just like if I'm teaching a, 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 if I'm teaching something from the scriptures, I'm going to teach the schools of thought as it relates to that subject, whether it be the school of thought that, I, that I'm with or the one that I'm not with. Now, I may let you know which one I kind of uh, adhere to, but forgive that thing full counsel. I need to teach you the full counsel of God and all the thoughts that, and then let you yeah. be led by the spirit to decide what your position is going to be. Exactly. Not that I'm trying to force feed my position on you or shame you or disgrace you because you don't see it the way I see it. That could be speaking in tongues. That could be women preaching. That could be, you know, whether women should wear hats. There should be, you know, you name it, laying on of hands in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, whatever. Right. I just think that we need to teach the full Bible and let the Spirit of God lead that person. But I just think that we need to be mindful and respectful of the forum that we're in and then follow the agenda with which we subject ourselves. Because at this particular point in society, yeah. I do think that the churches 
are are definitely um, guilty in helping yeah. the division that the world is in right now. Jim, I call it. You know, this this could be wrong word, but I think it's I think it's appropriate to say some of us have weaponized the gospel. They yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Gospel uh -huh. to 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 discredit people, to to demonize people, to to look condemn people. I had one guy sit there and heard on the video talking about. That, that, that if you're a Democrat, you're going to hell. You know, and then like you said, you hear somebody else and they say, how can you be a, a Christian and you vote for a Democrat? Or how can you be a Christian and you vote for, you know, a Republican? We, the world is looking at us and we should never, ever weaponize the body of Christ for that well, purpose. I don't think that we're weaponizing the gospel. <laughs> well, they say, I think that the the, the the Bible is being weaponized. You cannot weaponize the gospel. The gospel is what it is. So, explain it, explain, explain that because you said you can weaponize the Bible, but you can't weaponize the gospel. Explain that. For well, the, the 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 gospel is God's love for mankind. So you cannot weaponize that because how can you use that to weaponize when the Bible says that God sent Jesus to save the world. Yes, sir. Right. Right. So, you know, not parts of the world, not certain people in the world, not certain uh, 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 parts of government. Right. So, to 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 weaponize the gospel, I mean that that just seems. But I do I do understand what you're saying. Yeah, right. They not. But it's just it it's, it can't be the gospel. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That, that, that's what we're saying is because the gospel is not weaponized. Well, right? yeah. there, there, can I can I say wait, wait, uh, there, there, there is a uh, there is a point where it is weaponized because it says. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God through the pulling down of strongholds. So we literally have a weapon, but that weapon is not against man. It's against right. the devil. Right. It says that Jesus Christ came to undo the works of the devil. So for every separation, for every bondage, and I think Brother Addison says this often, uh, those who were under the bondage of, to deliver them from the bondage of Satan, where that bondage manifests itself in sickness or uh, Whatever that one was, right. we, we are literally doing. We have an adversary. He was called the adversary. Mm -hmm. He is the devil, and his intent is to, to separate man from God and to separate man from eternal life, which God has died to give us. Right. We just have a problem with folks on the wrong target. We weaponize right. the gospel against each other, which but, is not so because you can't. Literally speaking, you can't but, save mankind, not to destroy us. Exactly. Against exactly. Each other. And that's what I'm trying to say. See, when you you weaponize it when you start condemning judgment. Oh, man. Definitely going to hell. You know, just because you have a different opinion, you 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 have the right to have a different opinion. You but have the right to come to a different conclusion. But the one can conclusion I say is that, go ahead. The the one thing that I I I I I I, 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 I say, I'm sorry, did I miss it? Chris yeah, trying to what y'all looking at is the word that is weaponized is religion is weaponized. Y'all talking around it, religion. Man's it concept of what it is is what's being weaponized. Everybody's religion is now a weapon. Yeah. Be you, yeah. Be you <laughs> Kojic, be you Catholic, be you Hindu, be you Muslim. That's what's being weaponized. Mm. Yeah. It's, not, it's not the concept of, of you know, Jesus Christ is not the, the good news. It's the religion, how man divides this up. That's what's being weaponized. Exactly. And they become the judge and everything else. And just how you can tell when something is weaponized, when you go back to what we read earlier, uh, and, and Brother Jackson, let me throw it back at you for that one. Oh, that's actually Chris. Chris, not Chris, uh, Addison, Brother Addison. Could you read that for us again? This is, this is, when you know what's being weaponized. Who is a wise man endued and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. 
But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your heart, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descends not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruit, with an S, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Amen. So when it gets to say, you going to hell, <laughs> you going to hell, you be like, what, what the, what, what gospel is that? <laughs> the gospel said, John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I like, I like Paul said, he said, I don't preach nothing except that Christ was crucified. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. If he said, yeah. if we don't go preach the gospel, he's preaching what Christ did. Now, 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 and when we go preach that, I uh, say, if I be lifted up, I shall draw all men unto me. So again, in recruitment, in the recruiting arena, Come on, we have that piece of the, that point of the sphere that we're actually making interest. And like when we brought people into the military, they had to be signed up and sealed prior to us beginning the instruction. Come on. And as, as we, you know, enter into instruction, that's a lot more complicated uh, process. But uh, the propagation of the gospel, which is the reconciliation of God to man, that becomes pretty simple. <laughs> that's a simple thing that we got to do. And once the heart is prepared to embrace that, yeah. then the Holy Ghost begins to work in that person to bring them to, to fruition. And that fruition would deal with their sexuality, their, 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 uh, their, their, their lust, their greed, their whatever. But that's a, that's that's the subsequent portion of them actually entering into the kingdom. Yeah. And yeah. I think that, that as you've been preaching over these last many days, and I'm beginning to embrace, uh, there is an approach to bringing people into this into this thing, yeah. and then bringing them into the kingdom. And then there's another uh, approach to nurturing them in the word. Yeah. And, 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 and bringing them to fruition in Christ. And I think depending on what our calls are, you know, whether it's pastor, preacher, teacher, uh, evangelist, or whatever, we have to be conscious of how it is that God is leading us in that particular moment to the greatest amount of effectiveness. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I think that's the whole purpose of that. Is that, that and, and, you know, that's why I think back to the fruit, you know, the characteristics of the fruit of the spirit. Is all focused on uh, that love, joy, love, joy peace, long suffering, patience, meekness, <laughs> gentleness. And the church needs to be quick. Go ahead, go ahead, Bishop. Okay, I'm just playing on y'all. You see, you, you really got to think about this thing, man. You really got to think about what God is really saying to you in Scripture. See, you got to think about it. Okay, so so I go back to this verse. And, I, and now I'm going to talk to you about this verse from a kingdom perspective. Back in Galatians chapter 6, and all of these verses that we talked about. Galatians 5. Galatians chapter 6, from a kingdom perspective, it becomes crystal clear to you. Okay, for example, in the kingdom of God, it's citizens. The citizens of that kingdom. Yes. The mission of that kingdom. The work, the service, the labor of that kingdom. The energy, the fuel that fuels the work. All of this has to be divine. Amen, man. Amen. Okay.